Hello, great kids. Welcome to another refreshing and fun field lesson on quantitative reasoning. In this lesson, we are going to be looking at two exercises 19 and 20. Exercise 19 and 20. Now, let's look at the first example on exercise 19. First, the concept. We are going to be looking at the concept of addition and subtraction in this example. Alright? So, this time around, we are going to look at the picture. Okay, now in the picture in example 1, we have a table. The table has two numbers on top and three numbers beside it. So we make use of the number at the side using a plus to get the number inside the table. First of all, looking at this number, we need the number on top, which is the 4, and the number beside it, that is a 5. Now let's go to the board. So we take the 4 plus the 5. All right? Well, that is going to give us a 9. So that is why we have a 9 on that table. Now let's go back and take more example. Okay. Now if we wish to make use of the plus again to find this number. All right. The number above it is a 3. And the number on the side is a 3, like this, okay? So, let's go to the board. We have a 3 plus another 3. Well, that will give us 6. So, this is why we have a 6 on that side of the table. Now, let's try to find a number on the table not in the table now but on the table for example the 4 now we need to trace this down to the number 7 and the 3 however on the board we are going to do the opposite of addition this time and so we have 7 Take away 3. Well, that gives us 4. 7 minus 3 is 4. So this is how we get the 4. Alright, so much for this table. You can easily find the rest. Let's look at another example. Uh, in example 2, in uh, exercise 19, we have the concept of addition, uh, subtraction, square of numbers, and then square root we are going to be making use of them now this is the shape it looks like an umbrella shape with a 20 on top and a 21 under well 20 and 21 are connected because they are going to be added and when added the number on the left the 5 and the 4 on the right are also connected all right, for example, let's go to the board. Let's see this connection. 4 squared, that is the square of the number on the sides, plus 5 squared, we give us 16 plus 25. That is 41. 16 plus 25 is 41. However, 20 plus 21, that is vertically, we will get 41. So these values are the same. So this is why we said these numbers are connected. So if we wish to get 20, then we have to start with the side that is complete. We will make use of the 5, the 4, and the 21. Now on the board, we have to start with the squares. So 5 squared will be added to the 4 squared 
we already know what this is going to give to us the 5 squared plus the 4 squared is 41 that is 25 plus 16 all right once we've gotten this we need to subtract the 21 from the 41 all right and so when we do this we will get our 20. now let's look at the 21 the 21 and the 20 can be gotten in the same way so we just focus on the other side how do you get the 4 using the 20 21 and the 5 well we start with the complete side so we add up the 20 and the 21 so 20 plus 21 is 41 all right now next we look at the other side we try to subtract the 5 squared from the 41 all right that is 41 minus 5 squared well that is 41 minus 25 if we do it carefully we will get 16 so the last step is to get the square root of 16 and that is 4 so this is why we have 4 on that side right all right the way you get the 4 is the same way you get the 5 all right okay now let's look at the first example on exercise 20 we have concept of addition subtraction square and square roots all right now let's begin first we have a 3 a 2 and a 5 we make use of the 3 and the 2 to get the 5 using square of numbers so if we want to get the 5 all we need to do is to make use of the 3 and the 2 they are squares all right now let's go to the board and see how this is done we have 3 squared all right minus the square of 2 that is 2 squared so when we do this subtraction we are going to have 9 minus 4 9 minus 4 all right so 9 minus 4 is equal to 5 so this is how we get the number on the right hand side all right if we wish to get any of the number on the left hand side right for example the 2 making use of the 3 and the 5 well it is quite simple we start with the 3 so we say 3 squared we know 3 squared is a 9 all right so 3 squared minus the 5 when that is 9 minus 5 if we do that we are going to get a 4 so we find the square root of 4 to get 2 which is the answer now let's look at the last one which is the 3 making use of the 2 and the 5 all right so the first thing we try to do is to get the 2 squared and add it to the 5 well 2 squared is the same thing as 4 so we are saying 4 plus 5 that is 9 so the final step is to find the square root of 9 so what is the square root of 9 the square root of 9 is 3 because 3 times 3 is 9 so this is how we get the number in the 3 position so this is how this concept is done now let's look at the second example in exercise 20 where we make use of addition subtraction multiplication division an imaginary number of two 
we have a triangle here three numbers are the vertices and the number inside now the number inside is 46 so how can we make use of the number at the vertices to get the number inside now let's find out well we add up the number at the vertices of the triangle that is 15 plus 6 plus 2 if we do that carefully we will get a 23 now this is the time we make use of the imaginary number imaginary number 2 is multiplied by 23 so 23 times 2 gives us 46 so this is how we get the 46 okay so if we wish to get any number at the vertices for example the number 15 we make use of the 46 the 2 and the 6 so we have 46 divided by the imaginary number that is the number 2 so what do we get we get a 23 so this is like walking backward you know now once we have our 23 we are going to do our subtraction first we are going to subtract the 6 and then the 2 so we are subtracting 8 in total and that gives us 15 all right so that's how we get the 15 or any other number in the vertices all right so that will be all for this lesson hope you had fun watching and learning in today's class do your quiz and your assignments and and the content page quiz all right thanks for watching see you in the next class bye